free spotting number three, where I continue my fascinating journey in Lalba Garden with Vijay Thiruvadi. In the previous episode, I promised you that I'll tell you a scary story about Bangalore's own Battle of Plassey. Are you ready? Let's go. Conflict zone. Vijay, what exactly is going on here? What we can see here is an interesting battle for survival of being fought between two trees. If you look carefully, you will see the two trees here a light colored tree that is growing straight up with light green leaves that is dominated by, or rather strangled by, a darker brown dominant tree. The lighter tree is the Palash that is fighting a battle for survival with the Mysore Feg or Ficus Mysorensis, the Gonimara. Yeah, this is the original Palash tree. It's exactly like the tree we saw earlier. And this you can see is the strength. You see the falash tree is getting squeezed. And a bird has eaten a fig from the ficus mysorensis that we saw earlier in episode one. It has actually sat on that falash tree and dropped an undigested seed. That tree first, uh, it sprouts leaves and then it sends its roots coming down. All those vertical lines, all roots, come down to the ground, they draw nourishment from the earth, then lignify, that is, get woody tissue, climb up again. This is what is classically called a strangler fig. The intention is not to strangle the host tree, but it is a dominant tree that deprives the host tree of nourishment, both from sunlight and from the nutrients in the soil. I can see two types of leaves here. That's the palash leaf. These leaves. This is all of the goni mara. All around, all around. And this is the goni mara from a seed which has been dropped by a bird and it strangles the host tree effectively. Okay. Right up there. That is where the trunk of the tree goes out in every direction. And inside you can see the palash. Stem from here. Very clear. You can see how the palash tree is being suffocated. So this root is on its way down, right? Yes. Then what happens is each one of them fuses with the next uh, root which is lignified and you get a whole new trunk of the Gonimara. And extraordinary is the way they fuse, you know, over time. Look at that, it's almost like a surgeon has stitched it up. Surgeon. We have in Lalbagh itself a strangler ficus bengalensis or banyan tree. Originally, a bird had dropped a seed on the crown of a palm tree. There were four or five palm trees planted together. Now birds love to sit on palm fronds as they can get on an unimpeded view below and pick off butterflies and insects. So there are around four or five dead palm trees inside this big huge 
strangler fig of a banyan tree. How old do you think the strangler is? I'm just speculating mm -hmm. that it might have happened about 80 years ago, the banyan tree. This is a big leaf of a people starting out. And it'll soon envelop uh, the Casuarina. If you came here 20 or 30 years later, you might find that this people tree has grown larger. And so we have seen palash being strangled. In the last maybe 100 years. We've seen a palm tree that's been standing for the last 80 years and we're now seeing a full-grown casuarina tree. This is the beginning of a strangler. So those of you who can come here in 2072, let us know what happens. So which is the widest tree in the world? When I say widest, I mean the one with the biggest canopy. Can you guess? It is. It is a fig and it is a strangler fig. The Great Banyan in Kolkata is 240 years old and half a kilometer in circumference. To me of very great interest is the fact that a Banyan tree in botanical nomenclature is called Ficus bengalensis. It is specifically named after a Banyan tree in the botanic gardens in Calcutta. It was noticed that a seed was dropped by a bird on a wild date farm in 1782. This sprouted leaves and sent out roots to the ground and very quickly uh, multiplied. And today it covers over 3.5 acres, one single tree. The circumference is roughly half a kilometer there is a road round the tree, which is about half a kilometer. There are around 3,000 uh, roots, of which 2,750 are prop roots, and the rest have become regular trunks. Now, the Bangalore Strangler is not unique to Bangalore. In fact, it's found in many places around the world. For those of you who have been to Southeast Asia, Following the path of the Chola Empire and its influences, you would certainly have visited Angkor Wat. And what is the most striking thing that you see there? We have a wealth of fig or ficus species in India. There are over 115 species and many of them are strangler figs. 40% of the total number of fig trees in India can become strangler figs. They can be seen over our jungles and also in urban settings. The fig is a dominant keystone species in the environment and probably the most dominant of all species in India, perhaps even worldwide. You can see the palash tree in its last legs and very soon uh, none of it will be left. The strangler fig being able to sense how the uh, host tree is dying and to regulate its own nutrient acquisition to increase it or speed it up or to slow it down according to its needs. Uh, this introduces a great sense of mystery. How does uh, the strangler fig sense all this? And what are the reactions, if there are any, of the host tree? 
Uh, this is worth studying. I don't think anybody has done a study of this. Well, botanists may not have, but some others have. Interestingly, the world of software has found an interesting application of the Strangler Fig Pattern. If you are trying to migrate a complex legacy system, it's extremely hard to do so in a functioning system. So they actually mimic the way the Strangler Fig grows. Imagine if you want to repair a motorcycle that's running and you can't stop it. And you need to find out ways to slowly make improvements while the motorcycle is running. That's precisely what the Strangler Fig does. It keeps the host tree alive, slowly builds up its systems, and when it is finally ready and able to stand on its own feet, the host tree could die. But eventually, the palash tree will die. And the dominant Strangler Fig will take over. And if you came here maybe 50 years later, you would only see this large Mysore Fig. That concludes our episode free spotting number three. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I've been dreaming about the Strangler Peak for the last couple of days. Isn't it amazing how Vijay is able to connect all the three trees we've seen so far? The Mammoth Mysorean, the Palash, and now the Strangler Mysore on the Palash. Please join us for our next episode. It promises to be really special. It's one of Vijay's favorite trees and an incredible story. Subscribe to our channel to get updates as and when we post them. Happy free spotting.